day number three and I'm quite excited about my first activity because I am going to visit a husky farm. It's raining right now and it looks rather gloomy but I checked the weather and it's gonna get better after 12 p.m. This is only two years old, we've just started. We're trying to make the most modern, animal-friendly, dog-friendly kennel in Finland. At the moment, we have only about 60 working dogs. Then there is 20 puppies. Then we have about 10 young old dogs running around as well. Every one of them is an Alaskan Husky. The only thing is the Alaskan Husky is not defined by what it looks like. It's irrelevant how they look. Mm -hmm. What's important is what they do. Run fast, fast pull hard. Yeah. Those are the most important things. The dogs are not born fit. They need to get fit. They're, they're amazing athletes. They can get really, really, really fit. But it takes a little while to get them there. So every autumn time, we start to train them. And just like, you know, if you've not, if you go, if you run, if you jog, and you haven't jogged all winter in summertime, you've got to start slowly, you know, and then you build it up. That's what we're doing now with these guys. We start slowly, and we're building up. Now what we do is we take the quad bike, we open the fence, and we take them, and we go run out there, mm -hmm. and we drive the quad bike, and they all chase it. They need to get uh -huh. physically activated. And we're also training them to come back when we call them, to sit for their food. Mm -hmm. All these kind of things we train as well. This happens every day that we make the teams ready. Practically yeah. five days a week we're doing it. So <laughs> next week so we'll go back up to seven kilometers again, then we'll go to 15 kilometers, 20, 20. Ah, okay, so gradually. Up. So by the time that October, November is here, they should be doing uh -huh. 20 kilometer runs. So two dogs, the smartest one on front, and then closer to the cart, the strong, stronger ones. The yeah. stronger one, yeah. yeah. It should be like this. That's why we train them for now every day to check them. Who is smarter, yeah. stronger? <laughs> <laughs> this is the oldest dog. Yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. And a half. It's beautiful dog. So they said that this is quite helpful if the dogs are going to jump on me, I guess they will. <laughs> Just love dogs, so this is like heaven for me. I want to have your legs, your feet, inside this area, oh, okay. over there, because I'm making sure. Keep your legs up here. have their water so that they don't overheat. Some days they go all together, some days they go litter by litter. Now I'm going to try and take them all together. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, this is we need to move quite fast. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, they're still inside. Now, one important thing for huskies is that they like to eat. So this is one of the most important things we are looking for, is appetite. We are looking for dogs who are eager for their food. We're also looking for brave dogs. to get the lunch buffet because it is just 8 euros and it's a lot of choices. So now that I had lunch, I'm now heading over to my next activity which would be with Lapland Safaris. They will take me on a riverboat cruise as we visit a reindeer farm as well as do some sort of ceremony for crossing the Arctic Circle.
first we go in inside the Kota building. There we have a ceremony for you in there and then we go in and look at the reindeers, take the pictures in there and... And it grows only the places where the air is really pure. So this one. So right now I'm here at the Scandic Hotel Ravanyami's restaurant to have dinner. And yeah. I think I already know what I want. So they gave me this menu. I'm choosing this one first. And then for the main course, since it's something that's, you know, really from Finland, I want to try their sauteed reindeer. I actually tasted reindeer before, but I don't remember anymore what my reaction was. So I'm gonna try this again for the last time, I think. <laughs> because in a way, I feel bad for eating reindeer, but then you know, it's quite normal for the fins. So either way, just for the sake of trying it at least. And then for dessert, since I really love the baked cheese from France and Cherie, I'm gonna take the same one. They serve my appetizer quite fast. I'm gonna break it down. This is rye bread. This one is obviously pickles. And then some mushrooms and lapis cheese. And then reindeer meat. Wait, what was it? Reindeer salami. It smells really good. Really gamey or musky in a way. They also gave me this lingon berries, which is one of the most common berries here in Finland. And she told me that I can mix it up with this reindeer meat. So let's see how that tastes like. Hmm. It almost tastes like beef or maybe closer to venison if you've ate that before. Venison is basically deer meat, which makes sense why the taste is quite similar. But yeah, I quite like the taste. I mean, I kind of expected it to be really gamey, but it's really fine. I'm gonna try it with the berries. It's a nice kick to it. Like the berries are a bit sour, but also mildly sweet. So if you pair it with this, it makes for a good combination. I'm so happy. It smells so good. So apparently this can be served either cold or warm. And I think I like it better warm. Now let me see if this is better than the one in France and Chérie. Or if it tastes the same. So honestly, it tastes the same as the one in France and Chérie. So it means that both of them are really good. Time check. It's eight o'clock right now and yeah I'm heading off to my last tour for today which will last quite long it's going to be a photography tour and if we're also lucky it's possible that I can see the northern lights they told me that it actually already showed a day before I arrive here so yeah I hope it happens again before I leave because I think I only have two nights left or one night left I'm not sure but yeah we'll see